Hello, this is Mark Wildman, and today we're going to talk about the 10 minute time frame. We had some comments where people were asking why I recommend a 10 minute time frame for a lot of exercises 10 minutes of kettlebell training, 10 minutes of Mace 360, 10 minutes of heavy club swinging, non stop. We had some people say that there's no way you could possibly do Mace 360s for 10 minutes. I disagree entirely. I do it every morning. And I think 10 minutes is actually a small period of time. I originally got the 10 minute time frame idea from kettlebell sport training, or the secret service snatch test was my first exposure to the idea. Pick up a kettlebell, do snatches with a 24 kilogram for 10 minutes nonstop, and you're looking for 200 reps inside that period of time. I apply it out to a bunch of other things, and I think the 10 minute time period is really good. Think about if you're running a mile, you run for six and a half minutes. You know, my mile time is probably 7.30 at this point. I'm old. Think about a mile, mile and a half of sustained activity. 10 minutes, not really a big deal. If your legs can move for 10 minutes, your arms can certainly move for 10 minutes. You can hold on to things for 10 minutes. I've done aerial circus acts in the 12 minute range. So 10 minutes is not out of the question. The question is, how do you program to be able to do that? You can start with a lightweight, work on an exercise, and then build up to heavier weights over time. That's the point of something like this, an 8X adjustable club system. You can start with just a handle, you can add a spindle, you can add weights over time. But it is definitely not out of the question to do mills for 10 minutes nonstop. That was the original test to be a heavy club instructor was 100 mils on each side, 100 swipes and 100 hammer swings nonstop. It only touched the ground when you transitioned from one to another because one was a double exercise and the other ones weren't. So the one club stayed floating the entire time. Doing 10 minutes of snatches is not crazy. Doing 10 minutes of swings is not crazy. All it takes is good training. There was a wrestler a long time ago, the great Gamma, a guy I talk about a lot, and he was said to do a thousand 360s a day with an 80 pound club. And that was all in the morning. So you're thinking a thousand reps nonstop. With a heavy club, your pace is gonna be a little bit slower. So you're thinking probably 25 reps a minute, but think 25 reps a minute in four minutes, you're getting 100 reps. Multiply that by 10, 40 minutes nonstop. I had a buddy up in Canada and for one of his May certifications, he did 500 reps without stopping. Your technique can stay good for long periods of time. Humans are endurance monsters. The unification of structure, breathing, and movement is the goal of training. Ultra marathoners do it all the time. I ask everybody who trains with me to be capable of that, and I expect men to be able to do it with at minimum 25 pounds with good technique the entire time. Depending on frame size, I expect the ladies to be able to do 10 to 15 minimum. Some of the stronger, bigger framed ladies, we expect them to do 20. 10 minute time frame is just an easy time to set. It's an amount of time that everybody can spare every day for exercise. You can wake up, pick up a mace, do 10 minutes before you do anything else, and then your whole day is set. With a medium delight mace, you're probably getting 30 to 36 reps per minute. In 10 minutes, we would expect people to get 300 to 360 reps. That's 300 to 360 times the core fires, 360 times you inhale and exhale, your glutes fire, every muscle in your hand fires, your arms fire. There's no way to not get a training response from that. I've had clients at 78 years old who can do 10 minutes of Mace 360 nonstop. So I expect anybody who's younger than that to definitely be able to do it. We have to be careful as athletes and as people to not set limiting beliefs. Setting the belief that you cannot possibly maintain your structure, your breathing, and your movement for 10 minutes is a destructive thing that you're doing to yourself. You should set greater and greater time frames for yourself so that you can learn how to endure. Staying away from those self-limiting beliefs is key to improving your overall quality of life. Don't limit yourself, keep pushing, find a way to be better.